So hello everybody, this is about stylized art creation. As you can see here, this bottle I designed and created using various tools and various uh, software applications. I really love creating stylized art. It doesn't matter if it's for game design, high resolution, high fidelity assets, uh, also nanite assets for the Unreal Engine, or simply put low poly models and you know if you like to create stylized art as well the same way i do then i invite you to join me in my journey here exploring all the different kinds of tools and techniques in order to create any stylized art you can imagine what i uh, really like um, to say is you know I am definitely not a pro in stylized art. I'm not a self-acclaimed, uh, so to speak, like guru or whatever. Uh, not at all. I'm actually a rookie and a beginner uh, starting really diving into this world of stylized art because I really enjoy doing it and I see it everywhere. I see it in video games. I see it in product design, in in the design world in general, like retail design, automotive, aviation, it is literally everywhere. And, you know, the fascinating uh, part about this is also it's, um, I would say like it's all about the tools and the techniques um, in the digital world, what you can do. And what you will see is on my blog, fedebull.com, I am trying to curate all the information I gather, I learn by myself, uh, to see like what tools are actually out there uh, and then what techniques we can actually use with these tools in order to achieve a certain look and a specific style. And I call it the, uh, the TNT tutorials in future I'm planning to work on for the new year. And TNT stands then really literally for tools and techniques. Because, you know, when I started learning, for instance, diving into ZBrush uh, recently, I realized that there are so many tools just in that specific application. Um, and you need to figure out, okay, what tools do you have actually in your packages available? How do they function, right? How can you use these tools? And then, of course, what specific techniques do you have in the, com in the combination in order to create a specific look you are trying to achieve? And that's what I'm trying to focus on. And Hopefully, I do it also for my own documentation, <laughs> but I really hope that a lot of other people who love uh, creating art, creating stylized art, uh, would like to join me uh, in my journey here. And of course, I know there are so many talented ZBrush artists out there. It's what I see on ZBrushCentral.com. It's so amazing. It's unbelievable. Um, so many talented people are out there and I said, you know what, I start here as a beginner as well with simple props and simple assets and I would like to, you know, dive deeper into this world. Um, what I also wanted to mention is, you know, I show for instance here a high fidelity asset. Uh, so as you know, I love to use also the Unreal Engine and UE5 definitely is fantastic for photorealistic renders, but also for virtual production, for game art, for movies, like literally for anything. And um, also for VR. Um, I also created some VR tech demos in which I was also testing now the, the latest version and the Nanite technology. And as more as I was actually diving into the stylized art world as well, I realized the traditional workflow is that Usually people create a low poly asset and then you create a high resolution asset and then you bake from the high res to the low res. But since the Unreal Engine 5 is actually also providing Nanite, I was like thinking, wait a minute, I can drop in like instead of having just like 2000 polygons for this, uh, for this bottle, uh, for example, I could use 150,000 as long as it's a nanite object, I'm not really losing a lot of render power. 
but I mean of course it's always like debatable like where would you like to use these assets for what purpose are you creating these assets and so on but uh, yeah there are so many ways to roam uh, of course and so many ways to do it but as you can see here on this example in ZBrush just blasting through this process uh, I have been using several tools uh, sever several features that are available in order to get a specific look I'm aiming for and then as you can see I am you know uh, decimating the high resolution mesh I'm using dynamesh and sub subdividing masking tools deformation tools I play with polygroups polypaint of course and then you know edge loops uh, masking so all these kind of like features that you can see what I was doing here in ZBrush. And once this is kind of like done, uh, here also you see it's the unwrapping process in the high resolution, uh, for the high resolution asset. I export it for, um, you know, the next step. And in this particular case, I'm using Mamos at Toolbag. I also use Substance Painter, of course, or other Adobe uh, suite, 3D suite, um, tools but I have to say of course I really like using Marmoset toolbag uh, for the main reason also because it has already an integrated render included and I can work with it very quick very fast it's a retraced quick render solution you have physical cameras depth of field you can control really the lights the setup so for product shots or for stylized art creation in any form this is of course a great way to do it and by the way this might be here more like a photorealistic render of this bottle whatever it is you can you know use in this bottle some rum or maybe it's a fancy perfume bottle it's just one stylized uh, piece of you know stylized art so to speak and I create those things usually very quickly. I just see something or I get inspired. I'm also using AI to get concept art done. And then from the concept art, I get inspired and I try even to replicate in 3D modeling these um, design concepts. But yeah, so um, if you would like to join me as well and if you would like to learn as much in this world like I am learning currently and I'm shooting for like to learn more and more and more every day uh, it seems like it's an infinitive uh, I would almost say like universe then please join me my little blog is fatibull.com I have a little slack channel you can join me I'm usually uh, trying to respond to as many people as possible. But yeah, I'm hanging out there uh, for art creation, discussions, topics, etc. And also just recently what I find so interesting in this is, as you can see, to knock out different material studies, CMF studies, I'm also diving into the world of 3D printing because I feel like it would be so cool to print those uh, the stylized art, the artwork you do as miniatures and bring it alive from the digital world to the physical world and then, you know, even painting. But that's all coming soon. So I hope to see you also on my little blog, fadibull.com, or if this is useful for you, of course, feel free to subscribe on my YouTube channel here and more stuff yeah, is coming soon. And yeah, thanks for watching. Happy pixeling and talk to you later. Take care. Bye bye. All right, I got something.